today's show, we trudge off the grid and into winter camp. Get ready to hunker down as our man about the woods wrestles severe winter weather. Think living outdoors at 30 below. Those stories and more next. Minnesota Bound. Brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Look at this weather. I thought the snow and cold would never come. <laughs> this time of year I get in the mood to pack the truck and head north to the woods to winter camp. It's a sport that's catching on, especially up north. Come cold February days, cruel winter cliches apply. Like death and taxes, no one escapes the cold. Especially up in northern Minnesota, where winter can be a bit of a bear. Unless you learn to embrace. Who's up, boys? Sit down for a cup of coffee and let me explain. <laughs> we meet new friends at Ely's Jasper Company. There's two different ways either. That's Matt DeGraff, an Ely area fishing guide. I just do scrappy minnows in the heads. Matt knows ice fishing, but wants to learn to winter camp. Same story with outdoor writers Jamie Dittman and Brett Amundsen. Exactly why we all find ourselves in Ely, the gateway to the Boundary Waters wilderness and literally hundreds of widely forgotten lakes. Today, we're going to explore one of them. Yeah, it's off the beaten path. Not many people know about it. The forecast calls for 30 below zero temps and wind gusts over 30 miles an hour. Somebody's got some big old boots. I hope these guys pack the right gear. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty easy trip. This is something that someone can easily do. My nervous, excited bodies right now. I'm ready. You guys all set? Slowly, but surely, modern day explorers trudge through the woods on snow so cold, it squeaks. We're headed about a mile further back into the woods. The hiking was pretty cool. It kind of went by a little quick because you're so busy looking left to right and see what, what you're all walking by. It was beautiful. Nice little draw, crossing that little lake into the, this lake here. I mean, it's perfect. Perfect. Why don't you hang back? Right up. To the last portage. What could possibly go wrong? A steep drop down onto our lake. <laughs> Opa! <laughs> now, if I were smart, 105 pound sled, let's see how this goes. I'd unhook my sled and back it down by hand. But instead, this happens. <laughs> no, let me down, let me down. Hey, man. Hey, man. A man in his crippled pool. <laughs> Risk reward pays me with a broken pole. No matter, we hike on. Sad. Let's go for that far shore, because there won't be an ounce of wind. Just after lunch, 
we settle on a spot and get to work. The old mantra of winter camping, there's always something to do. Each camper scoops giant piles of snow. Definitely got nicer out. I'll explain why in a bit. For now, just keep shoveling. Meanwhile, a hot tent becomes our city hall. Wow. A high-tech teepee with a surprise. Stove pipe. Who says you can't have a campfire in a tent? A stove takes wood, so we take turns, burning off a few more calories. Yeah, it's cold, but you find uh, cutting firewood's fun to do. We're all set. Now all we have to do is sit around, have a little lunch. Actually, that's not quite true. After food, whoa, the real fun starts. <laughs> Hang tight. Minnesota Bound, brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers. Rapala Ice Force. Border View Lodge. And by Star Bank. So up on the Canadian border, we're starting to get settled into our remote winter camp. Now it's time to get ready to sleep in the snow. Winter camp might not suit those who fear cold. But for people with an appetite, well, dig in. Classic trail sausage with some gorp. Crackers, so many sandwiches. <laughs> Four Northwoods explorers relax after a cold morning hike into camp. It is great. That teepee is such a great little setup. I mean, it is perfect. It's nice to have a place to warm up and eat. And... Our winter camp hides on a bay of a small lake just off Canada's border. After food, no. we get back to those giant piles of snow. The makings of a most unique winter retreat. I have this terrible habit. As I clear it out, I just continue building. Campers call this a Quincy. It's a fancy name for a snow cave. Everyone calls me a kid, but this is actually a very important survival tool. See, snow actually acts as an insulator. It's starting to look like home. On cold winter nights, Quincy's can be darn cozy compared to outside temps. Good thing, because the forecast calls for lows near 30 below zero. You know, crawling in there and digging out yourself and doing the hard work, it actually was pretty fun. And for first timers, a quick test proves we will all sleep safely. I mean, it's just something I never even thought of doing. Time to settle in. Building this thing, let it set up, dig it out, and it's, you know, it's like you're making a little home for a couple nights. time, our first day quickly drifts away. Tonight, we will sleep surrounded by silence. But come tomorrow, a change in weather will blow you away. You think I'm kidding. Closed captioning for Minnesota Bound is brought to you by Lake of the Woods Tourism.
now that our winter camp is set up, it's time to get to the fun stuff, if old mother nature doesn't beat us first. Hollywood could never, ever pull off pictures this pretty. I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's just like something you'd see on the movies. On a lonely Northwoods Lake, Mother Nature throws us a snowball, a brutally cold curve. Wind is brutal today. 30 below wind chills. I mean, it's never going to be colder than this. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough go fishing. If we can get through the ice. The wind is horrible. <laughs> the wind chill is horrible. But it is sunny. The rumor is there are rainbows. Let's find out. Tying knots at eight below gets a little trickier. I love this lake for rainbow trout. It always, always pans out, always gets some nice fish. Whoa, Brad! He just came in and hammered it. This lock, good rainbow, good rainbow trout. You always have the chance of catching 20 plus incher. Usually on a day this cold, you don't even worry. Really, most people don't leave the house. And you know, we made it out here. At 10 below zero. Holy cow. We make memories. It's awesome. They, I mean, they hit hard. Another nice little rainbow. Another one for the table tonight. Nice work. Even though it's 30 below wind chill, I still love catching nice rainbows like this. It's cold. Get your gloves back on. It's a chilly one. This would be the frozen tundra. They're saying wind chills are 30 below right now. Well, that's why I can't talk. Nice one. Everything seems perfect. Well, almost. You just kind of got to take breaks and warm up. But we're all getting fish. Which is why tonight, we will eat like kings. Ooh, the rice is looking nice. We caught a lot of fish. Considering the weather pattern we had. That's part of camping too, and is all getting together and eating and talking about what we did and what we're going to do. Thank you so much. Service here is wonderful. Steaming hot rice, fresh rainbow trout, straight from the lake. Yes. Unbelievable. Whoa, there's some spice to that rice. So I don't know if you can see the ice behind Jamie. But that's how cold it is tonight. Seems everyone and everything wants out of the cold. <laughs> well, we are happy and fat. It's time to cozy up in the bags and sleep. I'm gonna cozy up, get inside some big time winter sleeping bags go away for about 10 hours. Quincy camping is an acquired taste of sorts. Tea candles provide dim light. And a backpack blocks my door. Oh. Comfy living, sort of immune from the stark cold outside world. The night, the quiet is just quiet. Come morning, 
We start with hot chow and gear up to head home. It's warm and it's good. Too bad we can't. Just one problem when it's this cold. Frozen steaks. Just one more layer in this story. And the reason we love life outdoors, even at 30 below zero. You're out here in the middle of nowhere, all by yourself. Build a Quincy, do some fishing. It's pretty easy. Coming up, the world's biggest ice fishing tournament needs the world's most ice fishing holes, right? That's a lot of holes. Minnesota Bound, brought to you by Connecticut. Tracker Boats. And by Totem Resorts. Today's Minnesota Bound Classic takes us up north to the Brainerd Lakes area where the world's largest ice fishing tournament means a second world record. And good morning, we start the countdown right now. 10, 9, 8, 7. This one's big. Five. Really big. Four, I think we're gonna catch some big ones. Two. Feel lucky. Three. In fact, biggest in the world. Yeah. Yep, it's Brainerd's annual ice fishing contest. I've been here 13 years and this is the first one. <laughs> but fishing's the easy part. The really hard stuff starts 24 hours before the first hook hits the water. Oh, it, it's phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. Think about it. The world's largest ice fishing tournament needs the world's most ice fishing holes. Oh, piece of cake. That, that won't take oh. a half hour. Neither of them. All 60 of them right here. 60 ice augers. What's your name? 100 volunteers. And yes, a whole bunch of ice holes. Yeah, quite a few today, so. 20,000 to be exact. That's a lot of holes. You guys ready? Oh. What they'll do is they'll drill a hole, walk 15 feet, drill another hole. Probably take four or five hours to do that many holes. Think about it. 20,000 holes through two feet of ice. That's three and a half miles of ice to drill. Go! Talk about tough work. Well, it's kind of fun to come out and experience it once. The guy in the bright clothes over there felt the same way. Yeah, that's for sure. Bill McCoy figured he might like lugging around a 26-pound auger all day. Ah! So he's here from a very sunny San Diego, California. For a change of pace, cool you down a little bit. Remember, I'm only here for three days. I mean, don't give me a lot of credit. Minnesota oil, lakes. All kinds of people always volunteer to help out. High school students, fishermen, even the crew from the local jailhouse. I've been doing push-ups and pull-ups inside there, so we're fresh. A full day of drilling holes, no problem. Well, maybe a few. Stepped in one hole. Damn holes out there. <laughs> oh. Many ended this day three to an auger. One more hole. Drilling 20,000 holes. We'll do that to a guy. I'll be sore in the morning. We'll write this one off as only in Minnesota. And then there's some place. The land of 10,000 frozen lakes. So uh, it, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Lots of fun, but a lot of work, right? Why we live in Minnesota. <laughs> well, Ron and Raven will both be back next week. Until then, remember, introduce a kid great outdoors. Transportation provided by Premier Transportation. Call 1-800-899-7433. For more information on these stories and more, catch us on the web at mnbound.com. 
Share your stories on the Minnesota Bound Facebook page under the Share Your Story tab.